All right, so we're back with the only game where giving Canada ultimate power results in a 100% chance of them taking over the world. It's Power and Revolution 2019 edition. I wanted to do something ridiculous, so we're unthanosing the world like a hundred times over. Over to the crazy modded content. Damn it. So effectively what I've done is I've created a scenario where the world is grievously overpopulated and I want to see what it does. We're going to be something just random. We're going to be Zimbabwe. Supposedly the game can simulate like CO2 emissions and rising waters and like water toxicity and everything. I'm going to tell you something right now. I put so many friggin' people on this planet that Thanos, like he'd have to play the drums on the friggin' infinity gauntlet to stop this. I just started the game and already everything's gone to hell. If we look at the global threats area, you're going to see a bunch of very, very unhappy faces. This effectively means that the world's going to hell. Let us click on overpopulation. Okay, so it was 171 billion people that I put in the world. I didn't really remember how many Many there were I just remembered it was a lot it says by the year 2100 there's gonna be that that many billion people just put the you know whatever this number is it's not billions anymore supposedly all this stuff will happen though because of the gross overpopulation but I've done some other stuff too I've increased the birth rate like way beyond what's humanly possible I've done this all around the world so I'd like to see how long the world lasts when it has 171 billion people living on it. You'll notice Canada over here looking pretty strong with uh, 10.4 billion people. Someone on Twitter had asked if I was going to have Australia rise up. I think that they can because Australia has 10.4 billion people sitting around over there as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move time along here. Just like one month just to see what happens. We already have a cold wave going on. I imagine there's going to be a lot of climatary change. Looks like just went over here and kicked. <laughs> Hold on. Stop. Stop. Please stop. What the hell did that number just say over here in Canada? Look, because there was like a cold wave over here. Victims 101. The cold wave in Canada. What number is that? What the hell does that even mean? Is that everyone? Is, is I think everyone in Canada is dead. I think we killed Canada in one shot. That's like negative 10 bajillion people. I may have broken the game. I don't know if there's supposed to be a negative in front of this number because it's does this mean that like Canada had additional people like more Canadians spawned out of the snow yeah if you look over here the dead amount does not have a negative in front of it whatever so this is just the beginning of whatever insanity is going to happen from this mod looks like drought and heat waves all over down here so hold on let me see if we could see what the co2 levels are looking like oh Jesus so in 2100 right now it's looking at like a, a 5.9 Celsius increase in global warming. Why? Because there ain't gonna be no damn trees. Also, apparently the ocean acidity is going to be ridiculous. There's a lot of famine starting as well. I kind of assume this because there shouldn't be enough food on the planet to feed 171 billion people. I'm not a scientist, but I don't think that our planet can sustain that many scumbags at once. Let's get this train started. There's not gonna be any trains starting. The trains are gonna be stopping and death and famine is going to be getting off at every station. So I thought that a bunch of people over in Canada died, but it just turned out they got another 0.6 billion people on their population. Earthquake over in California killing people, go figure. I'm expecting there to be like a lot of disease because I don't know how you can have that many people in one spot and not have something like there's a couple instances of cholera but it's really not that bad really famine is doing oh my god 13,811 people dead from famine in kuwait there's also like a lot of terrorist or other ass kickery going on just because it can okay the cholera is starting to get out of hand over here we just went up to 1100 people dead there's more of oh wow it is like everywhere now it is really spreading hello hello i'm in a hotel in city center now yeah really doesn't look good. I know. The street is full of soldiers. <laughs> the street is also full of dead people. What the hell? Hold on, hold on. The plague? There's there's cholera everywhere, but now, hold on. I got to see if I can find more of this. I started to just like like kind of scroll over stuff, and now I'm starting to notice there's instances of the freaking plague. Oh. The plague is down here as well. Okay, disease is starting to take over the entire world. At least over here. Over, over in America? Like, and Canada? Things are okay. Canada's still at, like, negative 8 
bazillion victims due to the cold wave. I, I still don't know what this means. We do have a breakout of the plague down here in Jamaica. Okay, cholera is basically everywhere now. I haven't seen another instance of the plague down here. It's just a lot of cholera, except for Jamaica. <laughs> Why Jamaica is the one place where the plague decides to show up. The entire map over here is starting to look like just a poster board of biohazard areas. Look at this, it's everywhere. There's like famine on the tiniest of islands now as well. Hold on, oh, I thought I just saw something. I, I gotta see if I can find it real quick. 30,000 people just died from famine. I thought there was more plague going on down here. Little plague, just a tiny amount. Four people. I don't know how, but the United States is still managing to stave off a lot of the disaster, like the plague. Cholera now sweeping all through the islands, killing thousands and thousands of people in a shot. 250,000 people dead or wounded from famine. I'd like to mention that as many people are dying from famine and plague and everything else, we're up to 209 billion people already, and it's been two months. I like how there's no nuclear conflict because everyone's too busy starving or getting sick. Like the only thing I can think about nuclear stuff is people asking, can we take them apart and eat them? I'm not really doing anything for my people, but I just like it to be known that over in Zimbabwe, we've got about 17,000 people dead from cholera. Australia doesn't get any diseases because nothing can survive there. Don't ask me how, I just imagine like the badgers or something beat the crap out of the plague if it shows up. United States is up to 14 billion people now. Hey Thabo, it would be awesome if you could give a great big boost to the fiber optics in the country, I would really like to have access to Jetflix HD in my country house because of the new season of Empires of Cards will be out in a few months. Seriously, to Boho, this this is what this is your most pressing issue right now. The world the world is going to end in like a hundred years and you're worried about the empire of cards. Okay, I'm not sure why, but we've got earthquakes all across the world right now. They're just beating the hell out of everyone for some reason. Over here in Japan, over in the Philippines, we're now at 270 billion people in the world. Famine just hit Japan. This is new. 41,000 people affected from it. Over in Japan now, minor instances of the plague started to show up and they started to grow. I don't know if it's because like planes are coming in from outside of Japan and that's where it's coming from, but oh my God, it is spreading pretty bad. There's like radioactive fallouts all over the place too. Right over here, 214,000 people dead from atomic radiation. Oh great, in the midst of the freaking plague. Now Japan has a hurricane coming for it. This refugee boat, it's like 104 million people. It just disappeared. It was in the middle of the hurricane. I think it just went down. Okay, there is like fallouts everywhere at this point and the plague has reestablished itself again. How you doing over there, Serbia? Pretty freaking bad. Yeah. Yeah, it looks that way. Surrounded by disease, famine, and atomic radiation, cholera epidemic, resignation threat. Mr. President, I would like to warn you that I cannot be a part of such an insensitive government and I will be forced to hand in my resignation if you don't do anything to help the Northern population. What the hell do you want me to do? You see this? You see this? I can't, I can't fix this. You don't put a bandaid on the plague. We're up to 385 billion people now. Look at how it just takes off. Like the number of people that are in the world right now is just ridiculous. Trends upward, yeah, no kidding. The severe electrical shortage gripping the country has claimed another victim during a surgical procedure. Yeah. The outage occurred during- I, the Real quick, I have to mention something. Is she doing this report on like a table made of teeth? All right, so the world's starting to get screwed because there's not enough power, that's awesome. Japan just got a disaster of influenza A and the victims are whatever like negative 15 gajillion people <laughs> oh never mind that's it's in the Kanto region now it's negative 25 gajillion people yeah you better start playing with test tubes and be putting things in beakers because influenza is killing everyone up in this bitch ah negative three gajillion people are dead now so again the negative symbol here are they turning into zombies is that what this means like they're dying but they're not actually they're still just working because the work ethic in japan is so incredible they just keep going to work you know who still hasn't had anything negative happen to them freaking australia this place is invulnerable to the rest of the world's problems like nothing not even drought or something there's a cold wave in moscow it has claimed the lives of negative 85 
bazillion people. How is this even possible? Like, it's Russia. How cold does it have to get for people to, to, to be this pissed off? Hold on. Negative 24.5 degrees Fahrenheit? I mean, maybe it's just me, but that just really doesn't seem that bad for Russia. Climate change is predicted for 2100. Negative 95.5 rainfall variation. There's a volcanic eruption in Italy? I'm telling you, I think that the cold is just birthing more people over in Russia. There's another cold wave over here. All this is, is, is creating a different type of human. It's like, it's like some sort of Pokemon evolution. Canada is trying to outdo Russia in the negative fake number aspect. Canada's getting like double penetrated now. It's got the influenza doing this and it has the cold wave at the same time. There's so many negative numbers happening here. I don't know what sort of paradoxical population is, is even occurring. World hunger. Since 2014, world hunger began to rise again. And then we got involved and this happened. Wildfire just killed 15 billion people over in Cuba. Okay, the estimated population is worse than what it had previously anticipated. Like originally when we began, this is what they thought it would be in 2100, but now it's over here. The plague just broke out in London. Honestly, everyone looks to be handling the plague in London pretty well. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just because the weather is causing everyone to be so depressed that the plague is nothing new and exciting. I mean, people are kind of slowly dying in London, but it's not really as fast as I thought it would be. Numerically, the plague in London is completely out of control. I think that's the biggest fake number we've ever seen yet. Oh, news, please tell me what I can expect from the future at this point. Fed up citizens, electricity shortage, of course. Well, the plague has broken out in the rest of the world again. Thanks a lot, London. It seems like once one place gets the plague, it's not long before it starts spreading across the entire planet. Hell, you got some plague way the hell down here. People are still just chilling over here in Australia. Like the end of the world ain't no big thing. It's nothing they haven't seen before. So if I'm reading this right, six in one, th almost seven in 1,000 people are dying annually due to the amount of pollution right now in the atmosphere. The estimated risk of a major uncontrollable pandemic is 100%. Apparently it was 100% when we started. Is there a double hurricane right now in the United States? Or is this just showing like two places that a hurricane hit? Can a hurricane exist right next to a hurricane? We're almost at 900 billion people in the world. I find it interesting that if you go over to the extinction of animal species, it says it's at zero. I think it's at zero because there's no more animals left. If I'm reading this right, it's 8 billion people because it's 7.9 thousand millions. So it's 8 billion people a year dying from the pollution that we have right now. A flood over in greater London just killed that many amount of people. We got a giant spring of cold waves across the world and they killing everyone up in here. Look at this. More cold waves with random numbers. More cold waves with completely random numbers. You gotta be kidding me. Australia, finally, something has happened. And it's a drought that has a victims of negative 9019431321616. Oh, this is nice. Looks like the plague has decided to rear its ugly head again and start killing everyone in this general vicinity. We're now at that many people in the world because why not? Doesn't matter how many I kill, I can't outkill the amount of people that these that these this world breeds. Well, over in Jakarta, we got our biggest cholera numbers. Whatever that is right there. I feel pretty satisfied about this. We got the uh, estimated risk percentage of world or nuclear conflict uh, up to 100% just in the last couple of months. I don't know what the hell happened. I guess the entire world just got really pissed off at one another because they're not dying quick enough. What the hell is the United States doing? What is, what is this? The United States has a huge fleet moving across Spain. Did I miss something? The United States is just going out for a stroll with their military might? The United States is at war with Egypt. Why? Oh, wow. The, the Egypt has all kinds of people dying over here. Another volcanic eruption. This is just planet Earth's way of letting us know that it is really pissed off right now. We're now killing 21 people per thousand people from pollution alone. Well, this is what happens with grievous overpopulation. The plague, famine, cold, 
cold waves, heat waves just taking out bajillions of people at a, at a slip. You could hover over any of these. It's a ridiculous amount of people dead. Famine, 250,000 people. That's how many people in the world right now. So 2,700 billion, and we're up to 23 people that die per thousand due to atmospheric pollution. I wonder how long it would take, like, until we killed everyone on the entire planet with atmospheric pollution. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this episode of Power and Revolution 2019. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.